Aikido is a martial art created by founder Morihei Ueshiba. Ueshiba Sensei used to say that Aikido was created to lead Japanese martial arts in the right direction. This is certainly true. Aikido represents a major departure from its predecessor arts that focused exclusively on winning or defeating an opponent. It was created as an art to foster moral character. It is natural that the way to present Aikido techniques differs greatly from that of other martial arts. It goes without saying that Aikido techniques are highly complex and sophisticated. The case is very different from Judo and Karate, martial arts that I once studied. I first began my study of Aikido nearly 50 years ago. About 10 years ago, certain people in the world of Japanese martial arts began to doubt that Aikido was a martial art. This was only natural because people at that time blindly followed the same training practice of their younger days. This has been a cause of concern for me because if we continue to train in the same way as before, I fear these criticisms will someday reflect reality and Aikido will cease to be a martial art. This doubt concerning the martial nature of Aikido is often voiced both in Japan and abroad. However, from that time, we have done our best to convey the words of O-sensei to present-day practitioners and exemplify these principles in our own practice. This is most important. The founder often said, Aikido includes not only empty-handed techniques, but also the sword and stick, that is, the ken and jo. There are techniques for every possible situation. It is important to keep this in mind. We have always stressed this principle in our training. Thus, in our Aikido practice, we always train to be able to immediately use the ken or jo from any technique according to the individual situation. In this video, we will demonstrate our everyday training. Our training will be different from the kind of practice normally seen. After executing a basic empty-handed technique, we always practice a related technique with the Ken and Jo. I would like you to observe how we practice. If, after viewing this video, you don't find our approach worthwhile, you can disregard it. If, on the other hand, you find it suitable, then please follow our method of Aikido practice. Let's begin with Aihami Katatedori practice. First of all, I will show the Tai Sabaki or turning movement, which we practice as a preparatory exercise in our normal training. This is the movement. This is an iriminage. This movement is an iriminage. If we remain standing in this position, this happens. Now we move here, and this is the situation. This is iriminage. Many Aikidoka think that what they are doing is iriminage, but this is the movement. This was the irimi from Gyakuhami. Now we are doing this irimi. If your feet are in the wrong position, it's different. If you come to this position, you want to do a karate movement. We do it from this position. So we don't need to do that. This is the irimi of Aikido. If we do not practice this movement, we will be defeated if we don't block the attack, as happens in karate, boxing, and kendo. 
However, because we execute this movement, it's not necessary. There's no problem even if we are contacted. We can defeat the opponent as soon as we contact him. This technique originates from the sword too. Bring a ken. This is the movement of drawing the sword. Then we have the throw we just did. This is the movement. You draw the sword. It's just the same as the sword movement. We just did this movement. And you also have this variation. Although this is called a kime or joint walk, it is really an atemi, a strike. If you apply pressure, it becomes a joint walk. Basically, in Aikido, there are no gyaku or joint walks. But if you want to, you can apply a walk at any time. It is said that Aikido involves natural movements. Of course, this is necessary for martial arts. We must use natural movements at all times. This is part of our training. This is the movement. Bring a sword. So as you can see, it is the same movement. It's the same. Now, of course, I'm doing the movement with the Ken. Bring a Joe. The Joe is exactly the same. It's just the same. So, after these preparatory exercises, we advance to Ikkyo. Now, I will show Aihami Katatedori Ikkyo. There are many problems with the Ikkyo technique as it is practiced nowadays. People who do Aikido understand this, but in Ikkyo, you end up pushing your opponent back. But the technique does not involve pushing. The principle of Irimi can be applied to Ikkyo. This is where the body movement comes from. Most people don't apply this principle. Most people step forward. We, on the contrary, move to the side. We move to the side. This is irimi. This is how we deal with the opponent's attack. 
捉える形が出来上がってるわけですたったこれだけなんです、ね、それを This is the principle we use to execute ikkyo The movement is circular. Of course, as a variation, it is possible to execute a strike at this stage. That's when you apply a variation. Now we are doing the basic technique. We pin in this way. Now let's show it with the ken against the strike to the head. When he attacks, we enter like this. This lateral movement is the irimi. We move to the side. In Aikido, people often assume a stance like this with the Jo. But this is incorrect. In the Jo too, the stance of Aikido is no stance. There is no stance at all. So there is no stance whether you're holding a Ken or Jo. Notice the angle of the Jo. It goes right to his eyes if you extend it forward. By standing naturally, holding the jaw in the direction of the opponent's eyes, you prevent him from measuring the length of the weapon with his eyes. Or when you are holding the jaw like this, you do not show the length of the jaw. This is the position. This is not correct. So this is the basic movement with the jaw. So this movement goes like this. You can do it either way. That is the way we enter. You can also slide your hand this way or this way and you stand like this. In the technique we're doing now, we open like this and then come here. Let's do it once more. We showed our Urawaza Ikkyo technique. This is the way we perform Ura, but Aikidoka usually do it this way. This is very dangerous. We must have already entered at that stage. We have to grab him here. As you move your body half a step, we are in front of our opponent. From here he cannot punch from the other side, nor can he kick. I can attack him freely. You must enter this way. We must move at an earlier stage. We must be ready to throw him at any time. When using the chen, this becomes a tsuki. It is similar to the kotegaishi we have already shown. He comes to attack and we strike here and then here.
Next, I'll explain shihonage. There are not too many problems with the aihami shihonage. We do, however, have to be careful how we extend our hands. If you enter in the usual way, it's wrong. If you do it this way, you will be hit. The hand should be extended this way so his hand can't reach you. This hand moves like this. You can often see this movement in karate, that is, gedan nuke or gedan barai. In Aikido, we do not resist the opponent. We invite him to come. This is the way we do the movement. We open to the side. I think there will not be so many problems with aihami shihonage. So I think that just explaining this one technique will be sufficient. Now, let's move on to Aihami Nikyo. First, when your opponent comes from the front, move to the side and turn. There are some problems with this Nikyo. Nikyo is usually done like this. But this position is dangerous. He can punch you. Therefore, we cut our hand upward, enter, and apply Nikyo. We cut upward through the opponent's body. As a result of this movement, you can execute an atemi here. So, cut upward and apply the technique. Here the opponent is coming to strike my head. He comes to strike my head. I then move here and again strike here. Actually, you can enter directly from here. 
and do this. You can enter from here and move this way. Of course, here you don't allow yourself to be cut. This technique is used when your opponent comes to punch. In karate, an atemi is executed like this, but we move in this way against a punch. This hand is ready to attack against a punch. When using the ken, it is natural to thrust. He comes to thrust. You bring him up. And cut this way. Using the jaw, this is the movement. In a real situation, you would strike his head. That completes the Joe demonstration. Now we'll look at Aihami Iriminage. I will show two types of typical Irimi of Aikido. In Aikido, iriminage is considered in general to be a form of irimi. But all Aikido techniques include irimi body movements and footwork. That is the true iriminage. Therefore, all techniques involve irimi movements. All Aikido techniques are irimi. Today I will do several typical iriminage. This is the simple and most basic irimi. Another irimi nage is where you enter from the outside and then come to here. You enter to the outside of your opponent's hand and then enter. This is iriminage as well. Now I will show two typical ken forms of Aikido. Bring me ken. First, when your opponent attacks you from the front, you come here. In reality, your ken would attack here. You understand? The ken enters directly. In the other technique, this time the hand enters from the opposite side. The ken moves to the opposite side. For the first iriminage, the hand moved like this. In the second, we enter from this side. This is the basic 
from which variations are created. This leads to this kind of iriminage. At this stage, you have an atemi. This is iriminage. These are the kinds of irimi that are possible. Now I'll show kotegaishi. This technique is based on irimi as I have already shown. This movement is almost the same as irimi except the change in the last pin. The general flow of the technique is exactly the same as that irimi. We have this kotegaishi technique. We move in front of the opponent to this position. And you have this application. The hand moves in a small circle. He strikes at my head. In reality, we can strike here. This is the movement. At this stage, you must avoid the opponent's kick. So I thrust at him and then come to this side. This is the opposite side from the Ken movement I showed earlier. This is the movement with the Joe. I move to this side, and then I move here and here. OK. 
With the ken, it becomes a tsuki to the opponent's throat. Now we'll do Aihami Katate Dori Sankyo. This is the basic technique. When we enter, we can execute a temi to these points. You lead your opponent up and move your hand in front of him. Usually the hand is brought upward and you are open here. In our practice, we bring the opponent's hand in front of us, not upward. That is the difference in our practice. Most of the time, people push here when they do Sankyo. Our way is the opposite. He can't attack here. And at this point, you can apply these strikes. This is the movement.
This is an application of Sankyo. You can execute these strikes. For this one, you enter like Ikkyo. I have briefly explained Aihami Katatedori up through Sankyo. This completes the Aihami Katatedori series of techniques. As you know, the founder said, when I have a sword in my hands, my Aikido becomes a sword. When I have a Jo in my hands, my Aikido becomes a Jo. That is Aikido. Aikido is the sword. The sword is the root of the martial arts. We are practicing this principle systematically in our training. I am sure there are many more effective ways of training for us to pursue in the future. I hope to discover new directions in Aikido in harmony with many practitioners. With this, I would like to end this tape on Aihami Katatedori techniques.